Thanks so much for coming out tonight. I'm breaking a normally very steadfast rule for noise where we usually play first before talking, but I promise I have two good reasons for that. So first good reason is I wanted to announce that although we've been doing this series for, what, like uh, four or five years now of um, playing Chicago-based works by uh, composers who have ties to the city, uh, we've officially... Uh, you know, we were talking earlier this week, and we were like, you know what, we should probably name this something. That would make sense. Let's do that. And so we were talking about it on a car ride downtown, and um, uh, we wanted to announce that, uh, the title of this series that uh, you've all hopefully grown to know and love. Uh, it's the Chicago Curiosity Series, and uh, we hope uh, you enjoy this series uh, and uh, the many other shows, in addition to the many other shows we play around the city, uh, in hopes that uh, the works we play for you inspire your curiosity. Um, and of course, um, showing off the very vibrant new music uh, that is coming out of this wonderful city. Um, and uh, reason number two I'm breaking our steadfast rule is to um, invite up the wonderful composer of the first piece who will introduce it. Uh, please welcome up Osnat Netzer. Hello. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, I'll tell you a couple of things about the piece. First of all, I wrote it for these four amazing people. And just knowing that they're going to be playing the premiere of this piece, and this is written for them, inspired uh, athletic and, uh, I don't know, brawny and uh, fun piece. And this is actually quite an important anecdote, which is that I had a lot of fun writing this, and that's not always the case, and, and that's thanks to, to you guys, knowing that you're gonna be playing it. Um, a couple of other things you can know about the piece is that uh, it really is all about just a very small idea. There's, a, there's one theme that runs through the whole piece, and it's consisting of uh, triads and microtones, and the piece is uh, the process of what happens to this one theme. And sometimes the triads take over and sometimes the microtones win. And I think that's very much uh, a metaphor and symbol for um, how it felt to write this piece at the beginning of the pandemic and just how that early months of quarantine felt. This is the first piece I wrote in quarantine. And it's just like this feeling of like, oh, yes, I am calm. It's OK. Everything will be OK. You, you, you can say that, but you don't believe it. That's the kind of sense uh, that I was trying to convey. Um, the name of the piece was inspired by uh, an art exhibit online by Liron Cohen and um, of the same name. And you can check out her artwork as well. So uh, thank you so much. And help me welcome these amazing people. And I hope you enjoy.
All right. Thank you all very much for coming. I'm uh, speaking next. Um, there's nothing on this paper. Uh, I just got this little pouch here in my overalls, and I wanted to pull something out of it. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for coming. My name is Jordan. If I don't know you, I'd love to meet you after the show. Um, a lot of fun playing that piece. Lots of thinking goes into that piece, and we're so grateful um, to have that added to our repertoire now. Um, next up on the program is a piece by a friend of ours named Evan Williams. And uh, if you've uh, ever been to like a noise lecture of any sort, um, they can all pretty much be described as us just telling people to go to the hang, because that's a really great place to like meet people and advance your musical career and make uh, new friends. And it's this piece, uh, we found Evan's music as the result of a hang. We were down in Memphis a few years ago at Crosstown Arts, and Evan came out to a show, and we went down to a bar after and just started talking and um, became friends there. And uh, when we were programming this season, uh, he had told us about this piece, and uh, we knew we wanted to play it, and we're really excited about it. So Evan's originally from here in the Chicago area, and we're lucky to have him with us here tonight. The piece is in seven short movements, and I'll let Evan tell you a little more about it. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be back uh, in Constellation. It's been a while since uh, I've been back here. Uh, so yes, as Jordan said, this piece is in seven uh, short movements, and it's in what uh, we like to call an arch form. So the first movement relates to the last, the second to the sixth, et cetera, et cetera. And the fourth movement sort of serves as this pivot point. Um, I like to think of it as a funhouse mirror through which after that point, the first three movements are viewed in this very distorted, weird way in the last three movements. You're also going to hear some uh, really interesting elements inspired by maybe like funk and jazz and stuff like that. And uh, if any of that influence is in my music, it has to come from my father. And well, one of the sad reasons I'm in town this weekend is we recently laid my father to rest. And so with the permission of the quartet, I like to dedicate tonight's performance in his memory. Thank you so much.
Thank you.
Hey, everybody. Um, I'm really tired. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to do a little set change here. Um, and to uh, continue the role of having the composer talk, uh, come up and talk about the piece, uh, we're going to continue that. But before she comes up, uh, I just want to say that we have had an absolute blast playing this piece. It is so fun. Um, when you are listening, it goes by really quickly. I think we clocked it at like three and a half minutes or something like that. Uh, so definitely make sure that you're uh, engaged that whole time. Um, I'm also reminding myself to be engaged the whole time, so that's why I'm saying it to you. Um, it's going to be super fun. Uh, we've had a blast just playing it, rehearsing it, uh, and uh, having our coaching with uh, the great uh, Augusta Reed Thomas. So she's going to come up here and talk about her piece. Um, she is an absolute amazing person, uh, absolute amazing composer, has been a great mentor for us as an ensemble, and a very, very close friend of us. So please welcome to the stage, Augusta Reed Thomas. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks for that intro. I'm really, really thrilled to be here. I have my noise t-shirt on, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Uh, how did you guys come up with this too loud for the farmer's market? Someone told us that at a farmer's market once. <laughs> yeah, it was a complaint. Yeah. Really? We were playing it out was a, a farmer's market. played even louder the second time. Yeah. <laughs> That's Stacy's mom really just yeah. like. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Anyway, I love the t-shirt and um, so happy to be here and to be part of this amazing community of artists in Chicago. There's a lot of great ensemble people here. I see alarm will sound and third coast percussion and prism quartet and so on and so forth and many, many others. So I'm so delighted to be part of this incredible city. And I wanna congratulate my colleagues who have pieces tonight. My piece is, as you said, like so small. I shouldn't even, I should stop talking right away. I wrote it like 20 years ago, it's three minutes. It's a little fanfare that was commissioned by Paul Bro. And, and he played it with some of his colleagues. And then I was very fortunate to have the Prism Quartet record it on one of their albums, you know, maybe 10 years ago or whatever it was. And boy, what to say. I, I think the main thing I'd like to say is just to congratulate you guys because um, you're amazing. And we loved having you as our resident ensemble this year at the university. You guys were amazing collaborators and people and citizens. and. Um, one of the things that's so interesting about the saxophone quartet is, as we've just heard from these two amazing pieces we just heard, you guys can sound like an organ, and you can sound like bird calls, and then you can sound like, you know, a string quartet, and you can sound like percussion, and it's so varied, and, and you can sound like a big band, and I really appreciate uh, so much the eloquence and the grace with which you're able to make all of those different sounds. So thank you for playing my squeeze. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, everybody again. Um, so, speaking of t-shirts, uh, we have a merchandise table outside. Uh, so you can get your own shirt that says, too loud for the farmer's market, noise, uh, for your very own self. We're selling uh, t-shirts for 20. We also have these really cute tote bags. Uh, it says noise on the front. And then it also says bag on the back, just in case you forget what it was or what you're using it for. Uh, fantastic at the grocery store, fantastic at the farmer's market. Um, so tote bags, uh, we also have our first CD. Uh, CD is called Is This Noise? Um, and it is a uh, amazing, I think it's amazing, uh, amazing CD and uh, has amazing composers on it. Uh, we really, really uh, enjoyed creating this CD. Uh, and it was a just so much fun putting all the uh, the work um, and like getting to see it in in your hands. Um, so get your CDs. Everything that you buy, uh, either if it's the shirt, if it's the tote bag, or if it's the CD, comes with a really cute free sticker that also says noise. Um, so all of those are are uh, out there on the merch table. Um, you can find Yanosh after the uh, after the concert uh, to get your own merchandise. Um, now. Also something that uh, I guess Reed Thomas was saying was our residency with uh, University of Chicago. Uh, so something that came out of this residency was this amazing piece by Justin Weiss uh, that we are going to play for you next. Um, and uh, I'm going to have Justin come up and talk to you a little bit about the piece. everyone, it's great to be here and thank you so much for playing this. Yeah, uh, as Jordan mentioned, um, I wrote this piece as a part of the uh, Chicago Ensemble in Residence and we had a recording project um, with them a, a few weeks ago and I'm thrilled to have this played in front of a live human audience. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so about two years ago, I wrote a piece for solo soprano sax um, and I'd never written for saxophone before that. Uh, and I was really intrigued and captivated by the lyrical and melodic potential of uh, saxophone multiphonics. And uh, as I started this piece, I kind of realized that it wasn't just the kind of beautiful tone quality, the fragile and melodic quality of, the, of, these, uh, of these multiphonics that really intrigued me, but the inner life of these sounds, there's so much going on, whether it's the occasional breathiness or the, the microtonal inflections or the sonic instability. And this piece uh, is really an exploration of that, and in some ways, like a, a chord of, of um, multiphonics together is a really very fast, active texture if you look at it from a certain angle. Um, and it's more like that than, than even a drone in some ways. So uh, this, this piece kind of takes a few various materials and, and approaches that inner life of the, of the multiphonics. Um, yeah, as a part of the, this uh, ensemble's re ensemble residence um, program, I got to torture these guys with like hours and hours of Zoom conversations of just trying out like lists of dozens and dozens of multiphonics. And they were great just like finding the ones that fit them perfectly. So uh, thanks again, and I, I hope you enjoy.
Hey everyone, uh, so thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. We have reached the final piece of the program. Um, and unfortunately, actually, the composer of the last piece uh, wasn't able to make it. He, uh, he was in town for a CSO premiere last week that he did for the New Music Now series, um, and is actually out in Princeton today. So uh, he sends his best from the live stream, so hey, Elijah. Um, Elijah is, a, is a, a good friend of mine that I got the pleasure to meet. Um, when he was out here um, looking at doctoral programs at Northwestern, uh, I was playing a recital and he ended up showing up. And uh, he met a couple of the graduate students in the quartet I was playing in at the time. And he was really jazzed about saxophone. And he was like, I've never written a piece for saxophone. And so I was like, OK, well, that, that's what you're doing now. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, we, we latch on. Um, but yeah, so he's a really lovely person. He wrote this really amazing work called Perihelion. Um, and uh, before I tell a little bit about it, um, it's basically, I'm, not, I'm just gonna tell right about it. Uh, it's just like this really gritty, um, really textural kind of piece that um, Perihelion is an uh, astral phenomenon when you are in orbit the closest to the sun. Uh, you can interpret that however you want, but truly, think it's so nice to see a lot of people and a lot of like new people and a lot of old friends. Uh, and so, um, this is now I think my third third noise show. So if anyone else is a third noise show person, come hang out with me after. <laughs> I just started a couple months ago, so it's all pretty new for me too. Um, but thank you guys again so much. Looking forward to chatting chatting with you after the show. This is Perihelion.